The ultimate party crashers in this ultimate party town are the Columbus Destroyers. Seven and nine during this regular season, but then an improbable odyssey began in Tampa Bay where they had to sweat out a last second field goal miss. Then to Dallas where the Desperados had won 15 games this year, but a few crazy kickoff plays would pass and Columbus was on to Atlanta to take on the high-flying Georgia Force who won 14 games this year but in stunning fashion it is Columbus that is here today to play San Jose for the championships Columbus Matt Nagy you quarterbacked in this game two years ago what are your emotions right now well they're going strong right now I'm, I'm really excited it's been a long two weeks been looking forward to this game we, we're gonna have our hands full with a great football team but uh, I'm glad it's here best of luck today thanks for taking a moment the referee Dave Kataya on the call, and we take a look at Matt Nagy, who, as we mentioned at the top of the broadcast, was the quarterback of the Georgia Force in this Arena Bowl game two years ago, and then last week knocked off Georgia in the conference championship the game to get here. Very emotional quarterback. You'll hear him get in players' faces. You'll hear him yell a lot, but he doesn't let his emotion get in the way of his play, but he is high octane. His favorite receiver is number three, Damian Gross, and that's the man you see in motion. And he's looking for Gross to the sideline, and he's got him to keep the ball. Alan Harper, the man with the pressure, and again, the quarterback wearing a microphone for us today, Matt Nagy. So we will hear the call in the huddle. Mike will give you some sense of an idea what we can we expect go. to see. Yeah, I hope. Right trip, Y zoom, 34, get him down, double post, X win, on one, ready? See, all he's doing here, this is a system where they're telling you the routes. Double post, two receivers are doing the post, and then the other slant. The, the, the main receiver is normally the man in motion, and that's Magna, 21. But instead, they throw it over the middle, and it's knocked down by George Williams. And that'll give us our second look at Matt Nagy, who I thought was just terrific two weeks ago in Georgia, playing against his former team. And as you can see, in this postseason, he has been extremely efficient, throwing just two interceptions. Another accurate quarterback, another good decision maker uh, as well. And you mentioned the win over Georgia. He was Georgia's quarterback, took Georgia to the arena bowl. And then all of a sudden, basically, his services weren't wanted there anymore. It was uh, kind of a hard ending for him and that team. So there was a little bit of, uh, little, as you said, closure for him uh, by beating Georgia to make it to the arena bowl. First down, the pitch is out to Damian Gross. Little quick pitch up to the right side, short game. So who is Matt Nagy? Well, he played his college football at the University of Delaware. You may recognize the helmets. They look just like the Michigan helmets, but those, the Blue Hens of Delaware, where he set over 20 career passing records. In arena football two years ago, he led Georgia to its first conference championship and a berth in Arena Bowl 19, which they would lose in heartbreaking fashion on a last-second field goal. And Matt Nagy has certainly been everywhere, Mike. He is a travel agent dream, playing for his fourth team in six arena seasons. Yeah, he certainly uh, has been around. Thinks he had found that home here. When all of a sudden, he knew he wasn't going to be with Georgia anymore after seeing the other teams that he was with. He would just said, I want a team that wants me. Doug Kay, head coach of the Columbus Destroyers, called Coast Matt on his cell phone, and that to Matt said, this is a guy and this is a team that wants me. He is very, very happy here. I think this may be a stop that he'll be here for a little while. Damian Gross in motion. San Jose's defense jumps early. Alan <laughs> Harper, the man in the backfield. And we'll get the call from our referee, Dave Kataya. Uh, ben Columbus has been through this run. They lost five consecutive games right at the end of their season, had to win their regular season finale to get in, and then have been significant underdogs in every postseason game they play. They've been living off the fact that everybody told them they can't do it, they shouldn't be able to do it. There's You'll see you got Marquise Floyd and all these DBs up there jamming in the red zone. Good conversion, that's all. Right bunch wide. Wide loop to three. 94 uh, X fade D five on one. Ready? Again, you're looping, and you, you get the one wide, the one wide receiver that's going to loop. The motion guy is usually the main receiver, tight in their coverage. You're going to have to go over the top on Come these on. guys. Hey, get him to jump. Hold it. On three, left slide Z loop. 53 Caswell on three. Ready? All right, here you, you heard on three. I mean, they're going for they're going for the free play of the offsides here. Told the old line to hold it. Let's see if they can. Second down and goal from the five. Hey, hey, hey. I got Flags it. do fly, and they'll stop the action there. Bear in mind, the end zones are only eight yards stop. deep, so it is very difficult to maneuver. Left slot, Z fly, 23 bounce. I want, ready? 
23 bounces is going to be a run. Way. They're a little too close, I think, come or on, too far on, away on, for a quarterback on, sneak. Here it is. Get it in. Left wing. Hey, alert. Left wing. Wilder, 12 cut back on one. Ready? No, they are. 12, I believe this is going to be. Here we go. Hey. Hilly, come on. This is you. Near. Left slot. Z loop. Okay, big 27. Keep sneaky on one. Ready? Okay, that one got a little wordy for me. The 27 <laughs> would, would constitute a run. But the, big play, fourth and goal. They may go wide with this run. Gross in motion. Thanks to oh, oh. wide open for the touchdown. There's the big fella, Jason Hilliard, the 320-pounder out of Louisville. And Columbus converts on a big fourth down play. He got me with what he said after 27. I got that after it. He got me with that. But, but remember, after the play was stopped for the previous play, he looked right over the sideline and said, pointed to his head, said, I've got the play. He must have seen something, seen how aggressive the San Jose defense is. So he said, okay, I'm going to let him go with the fake, let him be aggressive, and I'll just take advantage of, of their over-aggressiveness. Easy touchdown for Columbus. And we are back in New Orleans for Columbus and San Jose are tied at 14, early going second quarter at Arena Bowl 21, and we welcome in the Columbus quarterback on the sideline, Matt Nagy. All right, Matt, the play before the touchdown, the running play got stopped. You immediately looked at the sideline and said, I've got the play. What did you see that said that bootleg pass would work? Well, we've been uh, staying away from that T-Sneaky play to the linemen uh, the past couple weeks, and I don't think that they knew we were going to do that, and, and uh, I was kind of holding that in my back pocket for the last couple weeks, and I think that was a perfect opportunity. We had to score right there. Matt, thank you. Thank you. Matt Nagy was practically the third member of our broadcast group two he weeks really ago, was. Mike, at Atlanta. Very good with his time. Pressure is there. Down he come goes. Out, come out, come out. I want to remind everyone that Merrill Hodge and several arena stars will be conducting live chats throughout the game here today on ESPN.com. Hey, hey, what are you being in here? So push, get in here. Let him know what you think. Well, no, no, no. Not Matt, right here. Matt, we haven't got off one jam yet. Let's push through it. Here. All right, push, push, it's Z. Right, rage, Z zoom. Good man. What do you? Hey, what about David? David on double post X in. Come on. Hey, I got. It. I want DJ. I want push in the middle. I right want some speed. Z zoom. Matt Nagy has the right idea here, and I'll tell you why. Let's listen to the play. That's, he presses, you beat his butt, all right? If not, you got to read it. If he sits high and try to break it, otherwise, go. Right, rage, Z zoom. 52. Hey, let's go on two. 52. Hitch. Wide post. On two, on two. Ready? This hey, is you're number you're seven, you're Josh you're Bush. You're they're they're expecting uh, the, the jam, and with Bush's hey, quickness, the they want him to be able to beat his man. Go at the line of scrimmage, and then he's going deep, and he's going to get a jam here by Cleveland right, Thomas, right. number eight. He's got to not get jammed. He is not open as they throw it up the field for him, and Bush is not looking, and Cleveland Thomas was right there with great coverage, and Matt Nagy winds up down, and he's yelling at everybody. Nagy, emotional guy, Mike, seems to be just losing a tiny grip on his emotion right now. I think he is, and I think some of his players are as well. They, they need to gather themselves. There is a flag down. We'll see what the what the penalty is. Feet out there. We need somebody to beat the jam right to be able to go hey. deep. Let's go right raid. Z loop or Y loop. 52 swing. Y corner. Y corner. Oh, corner. It's on Y corner. Right raid. Z right raid. Right raid. 52 hits. Uh, y post on one on one. Right. You heard Tony Graziani say they need to start going deeper. And the 52. That's a five step drop. Now the play call is down. He's got to call a timeout. If I'm a fan of Columbus right now, I don't like the way this is going I need at some all. Help, man. Well, Matt, Matt's got to collect himself. As I said, he's an emotional guy. He he needs to collect himself here. You got to keep your composure. Lose your spine. I need some help. Okay. The last time we were in here, all right. Yeah. We lost our goal. We did. We did. But I need some help now. Come on, let's go. You got all Come on, all, all of us together. We got to do it together. Yeah. Golly. All right. All right, give me this. DG, you go to Y. You're on the back side. Right rage. Y crazy. 52 sling, Y post. Nagy just two for his last eight. We only got one left. Okay. Right rage, Y crazy, 52 swing, wide post on one, ready? 
Well, a lot of frustration, there's no question, on the part of the Columbus offense and their quarterback, Matt Nagy. For an example, let's listen in via Discover All Access. I need some help. Okay. The last time we were in here, all right, yeah. we lost our four. We did, we let's did. But I need some you help got, now. Come on, let's go. Come on, all, all of us together. We, can't, we got to do it together. Yeah. Golly. All right. Well, you know, we talked about Matt Nagy at the beginning of the telecast saying he is he is a high-octane guy. He is very vocal, very loud, but usually can keep his control and not let it get to him. I think and not, not just him, and certainly can't single him out, but he is the quarterback. I think other players on the team, too, have been feeling the pressure. They get a chance to quiet that down right now with a big drive. We're underway in the third quarter. This is B.J. Beret on the return. couple nice moves. And he's out near the 10-yard line. Now, Mike, you played professional football, college football, every level of football for a long time. Most of us don't know. Is that a common way for a quarterback to be talking to his coaching staff, or did you think that was something where you really felt he was losing his composure? No, no, no. I, there's, absolutely there's conversation like that with the coaches. Uh, in the heat of battle, there's a lot Come of on, things go. said and done on go. the sideline that you take in stride because it's in the heat right of battle. Again, zoom. and he is a feisty swing. kind of a guy. But it, so early here, a big on, third down this. call. Hey, we gotta get this! Here we go, come on. On two. Right, Z loop, 92, uh, Z poco post, Y pick on two, ready? Alright, Z is doing the loop. That's gonna be Damian Gross at the top of the screen. He's Another first down here was one they desperately needed, and let's on go on the field on and hear what it sounded like. You gotta go. So Nagy did get them to jump. I'll tell you, I thought Gross could have held on to that ball. Ah! Down. Here we go. Right bunch wide. 94. Uh, 94. X fade. Z slide on 101, right? Split. Yeah. He's in motion. <laughs> they do fade it this time for Magner. And he's got it in the end zone for a touchdown. Oh, a big play and a score for Columbus to get themselves back within one. Floyd, the man beaten on the play. I'd like to see this again, Mike, because it looked like they had a little bit of a push off there to get himself open, but we've seen some contact down there, and they've not been calling it. What a great throw. Almost too far, but, I mean, that was only Magner was getting it or nobody. Drops it right in the bucket. That uh, huge, yeah. huge score for Columbus. Our touchdown. You're right. You get it. Remark. San Jose will take over on offense, and Columbus quarterback Matt Nagy rejoins us from the sideline. Matt, we looked at the end of the half. It looked to be definitely some some things going on in the sideline. It was pretty wild down there. What happened in the locker room to try and calm this team down? Well, we just talked about keeping our composure. We kind of let the uh, adversity there get a little bit of the best of us, and uh, we haven't done that in the playoffs here. So um, we're over that thing. We talked about it, cleared things up, and uh, we just want to be able to come out here now and keep fighting. Is to keep it close and hang around and uh, see what we can do at the end. What were the main adjustments that you made at halftime you're trying to implement here? The biggest thing is just stay together, believe in each other, which, which is what we've been doing, um, and, and not fall apart, and just keep playing football because there's an another long 30 minutes to play here. Matt, thank you. Thank you. Third and two. No. Now fourth down. You're, 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 at, uh, you're at Y. Right rage. Right rage. Y zoom. Let's go. Uh, Let's go, 52 hits, Y, go, y post on one-on-one, right? Y hey, post, no, you're that, that you're thing here. You're gross. Here. You're hey, there middle. seems to be some confusion now. The Gross has been the main guy, their main receiver. The other guys are doing hitch routes to move the sticks. If he sees Gross over long, he'll go deep. He's gone for him. Gross is there. Got him. He's got him. Touchdown, Columbus. Oh, is that a big play. As the clock runs out in the third quarter, a 39-yard touchdown strike, and this Columbus team will not go away. Matt Nagy is playing a chess match out there, Greeny. He's putting different guys in motion with their abilities to try and get off the jam. That time, San Jose was not able to get a jam. Gross never had to break stride, came down the sideline, and Nagy did exactly what he needed to do was lay it up there. I was starting to say, on third and two, maybe you would have considered running it twice just to try and pick up the first down. Now on the fourth down play, that was no longer an option. They go upstairs and Columbus 
two fourth down touchdowns. Been very fast today, then really struggled in that well, second quarter, but seems out. to have steadied himself. It's interesting, in the third quarter of this game, Columbus never yeah. really felt like they were yeah. getting it going, yeah. but they still managed to score right. points. His struggles right. are completely because of the defense of San Jose. The, the timing of the routes are off, and that's what you need right. in right. arena football. And the right. San Jose right. the Sabercats are knocking the timing off. That's why you saw the touchdown to Josh Brooks. Well, he Big was, third down play. He was backing up that whole time. You see, look at his, his shirts off, his shoulder pads. That was supposed to be a stop and go route. That Skip was going to take some time. Give credit to that defensive line. Ron Jones, George Williams, Alan Harper, they are very good. That was a pump fake, but he has to keep backing up. Eventually, he ends up on the ground. Right, uh, Z-Zoom, 52, go. Z-Dig, wide drag, on one, ready? They have found a way throughout this.